Hey folks, Eddie from Brain Pulp TV, back with more Magic Online. We are continuing on with the single elimination, time spiral, planar chaos, flashback draft. We've obviously won our first match, otherwise there would not be a second part to this video. And we are continuing on to the second match right now. So uh, let's get to it with a quick little edit break. Okay, here we are in the second part. We have an opening hand, which is, well, on the plus side, we have all the lands we need. On the downside, we don't have a play until, a creature play until turn five. So I'm actually thinking, I mean, we could risk drawing into a creature. Yeah, I'm going to mulligan. I'm going to mulligan. Okay, so I'm kind of glad I mulliganed. I mean, it's not much better for us. At least we can do something on turn two. We can suspend this, but uh, we are going to keep this. Uh, we, even though oh, we, you know, we actually have quite a bit that requires two white, but I'm going to put this on the bottom of our library because I'd much rather roll the dice and try to actually draw a creature that we can play early. So, so not the quickest start to a game. And we caught into the land, so that's not super great for us either. Maybe they're going to be on a bit on the slow side as well too. I have no idea. Oh, excellent. So we do have a bit of time here. Uh, I'm going to suspend this for two. So in four turns, I think we get a 4-4 four, four flyer, which is kind of nice. They've got a 2-2 two, two at the beginning of your upkeep. Put a spore counter on it. Remove three spore counters. Put a 1-1 one, one green sapperling creature token onto the battlefield. Sacrifice it. Target creature gets plus one, plus one until the end of turn. Hopefully we get a creature here. All right. Suspend. No, we're going to get a land. We are going to get a land. So that's not great for us. Um, we, we're not going to be shy on land. I'm going to call it right now. The first creature we draw is going to require two planes. The one land I did throw back, and it's probably going to be required for, for our next casting creature. And they have a spider. It's a 2-4 with reach. And when it dies, they'll put another 2-4. Wow, that's a, nice, that's a nice token. I should have taken a better look at green when I was doing the draft. I was barely able to concentrate on the, the cards we had. Excellent, more land. So that's going to help us when we need to cast something on turn 8. And we need 8 land. We're doing good. Uh, providing it's not a creature that requires 2 white. <laughs> we kind of deserve this. I don't know if you... You've probably watched the first part of this. But given how our first match went, um, which wasn't really super wonderful for our opponent i guess we karma wise we kind of deserve to start off like this uh they however are having no trouble casting creatures um this is suspended and what happens when it's suspended enters the battlefield if you control no tap lands draw a card oh, okay well, that works well for them all righty we have this or we have yeah, I think we need to bring this out now. It's got first strike, which is great for us. Uh, it allows us to block. Suspend. They are going to get to do the old uh, sapperling token thing. Soon. Now, this is instant, right? I'm not going to do that because it'll just put a 1-1 one, one token on it. And then kill my spitting sliver. I think... I think we get our 4-4 four, four flyer this turn, did we not? What do they have? Flying. Just try, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Why wouldn't they have what is essentially a death touch creature uh, once we get our 4-4 um, on the board finally? And more land. Good. Uh, I was a little bit worried. I didn't see a land last turn, so I thought maybe something was broken. Oh, what to do, what to do here. Now... They can double block this. Hmm. 
Hmm. Like, this is just going to die to this. Yeah, that's bad for us. I mean, it's going to happen sooner or later anyways, so... We're just going to keep it up. No, we're going to keep it up for now. We're not in the greatest position. Right now, but... We do have Damnation in this deck. Which might end up being useful. We also have a total of 5-5 five, five for striking on board. So even if he does put a counter on the spider, the first strike should be able to kill it before it can do damage. So I think we're doing good. Same thing with the, the Coctrice. I'm going to let it go through. I, I'm not going to stop it. That was probably a mistake. I should have forced them to cast it, but Swamp Walk. Great. That's just what we need. <laughs> so we're looking for... We are looking for damnation. We are really looking for damnation. What do we have here? Turn it face up. It becomes... Ooh. Ooh. That might help us. Now, they'd simply turn that into a... Yeah. One damage target creature or player. Cast face down. That might be our secret weapon. Uh, I don't... I mean, we can't really attack with much, right? Because we could attack with the flyer, but he would just put a 1-1 one, one counter on this. And then it could block it for days after that. Um, am I missing something? It's flying! <sighs> I'm an idiot. It's flying. One of the first keywords created in magic, and I couldn't figure out why I couldn't block a flyer with a non-flying creature. So this does not have flying, correct? When it flips up? Yeah, it does not have flying. So we're just going to go ahead and block that there, because... Whatever. And, yeah, it creates the token. Gets 1-1 one, one till the end of turn. But we prevented from doing damage to us. We lose our flyer. We can always get damnation. We can always get damnation. Which would be super swell for us. <laughs> Why can I not attack that creature? with a non-flying creature. It doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. Uh, what just went into the... Who in the... In the ho what now? Right, so even if we do Damnation, he's getting something. Wow, great, more land. So we've got three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten land on turn eight. Uh, we are in a lot of trouble. We are in a lot of, lot of trouble here. I don't think we have anything that's going to work here. Um, damnation is pretty much our only hope at this point. Even then, we're taking four, five before that thing dies. Six, actually, because you can add a, you can put a counter on one of them. I am fairly certain we're going to concede this next turn. Unless it's damnation. We concede. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and concede. <laughs> so that... <laughs> that was not the best game we've ever played. Uh, we're going to quickly see if there's anything in the sideboard that can help us, other than a card that forces us to draw land. Target creature land on top of its owner library. That may not actually be 
bad in this, given how much suspend he has. Uh, counter target spell, its controller discards a card. I may bring actually bring a counter in. Return to its owner's hand, destroy target creature. It can't be regenerated. A creature's controller puts a 0-1 green sh sheep creature token into the battlefield. I mean, maybe I'll bring this in? What would I take out, though? Wishful thinking? Wishful thinking helped us before, but... You know, let's take out Wishful Thinking, and let's put in him. I mean, another Flyer might be good. Manatithe? I mean, I think Manatithe is just a funny card. So now we still need to take out one of the cards. So let's take out... Yeah, you know what? We're going to take out Aquamorph Entity. Yeah, we'll see how this works for us. Would we like to play first? Yes, we would. Uh, okay. This is actually not bad for us because we do have the lens to make up for not having a, a uh, an island or the second planes. So we are going to keep this. We will keep this. Um, there we go. Now I can play it. I don't know why that wouldn't pop out. Excellent, so we don't even need to use the lens next turn. Spend two. Search for... You know what? I didn't even look at what it does. Uh, search for tomorrow. Search your library for basic land card and put it into the battlefield, then shuffle your library to spend two. Okay. Man, they just, they, they're just suspending everything, aren't they? So we've got time. We've got time to look for damnation. And maybe we'll be sneaky about it. Pop a little damnation out there for them. They'll never expect it. They'll never expect the damnation. In the meantime, we do have the healer up, which is great. So we're starting off a bit quicker than we did last game. Uh, what is this? Sky Cutter. Sacrifice Sky Cutter. It deals two damage to target creature with flying. That creature loses flying at the end of turn. Okay. Oh, we got, a, we got an island anyways. So, we still can't cast anything because these things are all costing... Uh, yeah. So, we are not going to attack... That wasp, that wasp is is looming. I think it's, I think it's coming. It's coming. Well, it's definitely coming. But oh, good, the cockatrice. But uh, this could end up being quite good for us because he can't block stuff with shadow. So we bring that out, and then our slivers start to have shadow, so maybe we can actually win this race. We will not block you. No, we won't. Tons of mana. They can cast pretty much anything they want. Prodigal Sorcerer, which is fine. Uh, we're going to go ahead and cast you. Damage to... to, 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 to okay, yeah. so we will go ahead and swing in with you. And there's a slim chance we win this race. The wasp is now coming out. So that's bad for us. Uh, prevent next one damage will be dealt to target creature or player this turn. So that's not super great, but it is what it is. A 
apply your damage replacement effects. Click click on the shield to prevent the damage. Prevent one damage to Geek Tragedy. Ah. Oh. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Forgot that I was keeping that up for that specific reason. <laughs> oh, God. We are so bad at this game. How much is he swinging in for next turn? Is he going to block? Nope. Want to use this ability? Yes, I do. Oh, yeah. Now. Do we do it now? Or do we wait? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Put us down to six. We have a three, three we can do next turn. You know what? I'm going to roll the dice and wait. That's got haste. That sucks, but it is what it is. Is he going to swing into everything? No, he's just going to swing into that. Okay, good. So let's do this then. Okay, so we're going to block... We are going to prevent the next one damage that will be dealt to target creature or player this turn. Uh, choose target creature or player. Please cast a buttload more creatures. Well, that is unfortunate. Uh, so we might as well just go ahead and swing in with Spitting Sliver, just in case he doesn't block it. He blocks it. Okay. Yeah, he blocked it. Of course he would. And he's going to poke me with the Prodigal Sorcerer, of course. It would have been nice if we could have cast this as well, too, but we did not have the mana. It's fine. He held back creatures. He had, man, more land, huh? So he's got us on a very quick clock. Uh, declare blocker step. Yeah, we can't block anything, so... Tracker. The battlefield that deals damage equal to its power to a target attacking creature. That creature deals damage equal to its power. Okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, we really needed something other than land there. Um, yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and continue on. Of course, this is regenerate. Yeah, so that's just the bow, right? So. Uh, okay. Well, that player discards it. We'll just 
go ahead and I probably should have tried naming a card, but like uh, Oh, well, there we go. That would have been that would have been the card to name. Other white creatures get I mean, I can it allows me to live for one more turn. And that's about it. So, yeah, we'll just go ahead and live for one more turn. Because he'll just go ahead and put the token on one of these. Or not the token, but pump it up. Doesn't really matter, so. We're going to wish him, just say good game and good luck. Good game. Let's spell this correctly. Luck in your next round. And boom. So, we did not do well. Uh, I'm going to actually quickly go back. And draw cards. Wow! Whoa! Holy cow! Wow, that would have, uh... <laughs> so we're at nine land, and we would have drawn into one, two, three, four, five. Uh, we would have had 14. We would have been three off of our all of our land at that point. So we were really in bad shape. Next time, next time I do this draft, which I may actually wait for the for the third set to be included in the flashback draft before I try it. Next time, I will probably have a much better handle on these cards. Now, usually, before I go ahead and do a flashback draft, I do try to play at least one or two so I can get somewhat used to the cards. I didn't have the time, unfortunately, to do that with these sets, so I was really 100% coming into this completely blind. Like I said, I knew certain cards like uh, Damnation, so I... I was aware of some of the cards in these sets, but I, I certainly wasn't aware of a lot of the commons and uncommons. I will try to do more research in the future when I do flashback drafts so that the uh, the drafting process isn't as mind boggling as this one was, but sometimes I just unfortunately don't have the time to do the prep ahead of time. Still, we did win one match, which means we are going to get some of our player points back and we got damnation, which means that I'm going to be able to sell this for tickets, which will make up for the expense of at least one of these flashback drafts. Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, even though I have to admit I don't think this was the best draft I've ever recorded. But still, hope there was something in there that you guys enjoyed, even if it was me just sort of like losing my mind for a while. If you have any advice, because there will be a few days between when this is released and when I actually get a chance to attempt my next one of these flashback drafts. If you have any advice, any sort of cards to look out for, any sort of combinations, please leave that in the comments section below. I'd love to learn from you guys because I can almost guarantee you each and every one of you know more about this form format than I do. You can also follow and contact us through Twitter. It is at BrainPulpTV or follow or contact me directly on Twitter at Geek Tragedy. In the meantime, though, take care, everyone. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot to us here, and I will see you all very soon.